you're trying to reach is currently unavailable. Please leave a message after the break. Now, 2020, what was that? <laughs> Enemy came to steal, kill, and destroy. Okay, Satan was working overtime still. Now I'm here to talk all things 2020 because what the fuck was that? Okay, the Bible really said the enemy will come to steal, kill, and destroy, and that's what he tried to do still. Because really, it tested me, and I'm sure it tested a lot of people as well. And let me tell you something. After this video, we shall never speak of 2020 again. Okay, okay, cool. 2020 was a rough year. Let me take for a fact. It was a it was a rough year for me. Actually, before you even get into this video, make sure you guys like, comment if you need to channel. Make sure you guys subscribe. I'm going to be addressing all things 2020, everything that happened from top to finish, including the Lani situation, all that kind of jazz. Yeah, so make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, everything, and let me know how your new year's getting off to a start. Because let me tell you something, 2020 was never going to pass without me actually doing this video because it, I could get that mod. I can get that book, you understand? All right, cool, let's get straight into it. You know, you're going to the new year and you're like, yeah, new me, new me, new, wait, new year, new me, new this, Ray Tay Tay thinking that nothing can stop you this year. You're gonna be on your grind, on your grind, Corona, mental health, rock, everything. Nah, let's talk about it. One point I made on my channel was I wanted my channel to be as transparent as possible in terms of my journey, because if you lots have been following me, if you lots are my true supporters, you know that the battles I've been facing in terms of mental health, because you know, 2019 was the year that I became homeless, I was struggling for a little bit and I finally just got myself, I would say I got myself on my feet slightly but you know it's been a challenging year and more so 2020 was the year that I was feeling things mentally more like I was feeling the repercussions of the year before because I wasn't really processing everything as everything was so fast paced but as you know the year was settling in and I was entering into the new year that's when mental health kicked in, everything was kicking in, everything was just going downhill and left and it was just like yeah let's, no, let's talk about it. T -t 2020 was a hard one, I'll give that to you, um, you know it really tested my mental health, it really tested everything we're gonna laugh about everything in 2020 all right we're going to laugh about it for my sake and my mental health we have to laugh about it okay yeah cool let's start off by talking about how depression hit me like depression really hit me you know the, the devil was really trying it with me satan was like i'm gonna show you who you're fighting against today okay that's what he tried to do and mental health depression was really holding me down when i'm telling you that like, the captivity spirits were trying to attack me listen i'm a spiritual person in it so i don't want anything down there saying oh um, god is a conspiracy listen i respect to you if you respect me all right don't come and this up my item because me my black and delete yeah understand all right cool yeah the pressure was really trying to hit me from left right and center and it was more so you know me just reliving traumatic experiences because you know things were just paying back the trauma was hitting me because i haven't like let me tell you something when it comes to me and my problems i don't deal with things i just put it in my subconscious and everything i've been bottling up over the past couple of years especially what i've been dealing with like the year before had come back all in one moment i ended up in hospital right my heart started to give me problems and um the depression the anxiety everything was so tough on me like everything was so tough it was so hard i was feeling everything at once and you know i haven't really got family over here apart from my mum like it's, it's literally nobody unless we're talking about the auntie on my dad's side which we shall not even speak about but i have no family over here so it's literally just me and my sisters that live with my mum and my mum there's nobody else here so you know it's just literally me by myself trying to hustle and grind by myself trying to pay my electric gas light everything keep up my rent all of that like you know and i've been doing that so far do you know what i mean like i have to give god thanks i have a roof over my head but you know i've been feeling everything mentally and it's just like more so because i'm alone i have to navigate life and everything happened all at once so it's just one of them things where i was trying to like find myself again because i had lost myself over the years like listen from my, from my teenage years going up going into my adult years like i've been losing pieces on myself and even reached the point 2020 i just didn't recognize myself anymore like i lost my self confidence i didn't know who i was as you know jay i just i just didn't i just couldn't recognize myself anymore like i was suffering with body dysmorphia like i couldn't just i was just extra paranoid and i was just more so like, like you know before you go into the new year you're like to yourself yo like I'm going to make sure I pattern up myself this year I need to get a yard I need to make sure my finances are patterned I was just kind of I'm also I wouldn't say I've been setting myself unrealistic expectations but you know, I don't think I could have achieved everything I wanted to achieve in the time frame that I had given myself. And when you know when you set yourself time frames, it's like and you don't reach it, you beat yourself up harder by it. And you know, as I've been putting everything in my subconscious, like go like going into 2020, um, it was just one of them things where everything that I've been bottling up was trying to show itself in my body, i.e., my heart. My heart was giving me problems. Like it would be giving me like sharp heart, like sh like somebody would be stabbing me in my heart. That's how it felt. And like my heart rate was just literally fast. Like it was beating so 
so fast all the time. It was going on for about three, three to four weeks before I even went to hospital and did anything. At one point, it reached so tough. Like when I'm telling you, I'll be cramping. I couldn't go to sleep. Anything like, cause obviously where I am, you can't go anywhere else apart from my room because there's no living area. There's nothing like where I can just roam free about in, a, in the yard. It's it's your flat. It's just a kitchen and a, and a fucking toilet and the kitchen's not that big, so it's not even like I can go chill in there. Do you know what I mean? So like 24 hours a day, even now I'm in my room. Do you know what I mean? So it's like I feel like I'm in mental imprisonment because my environment changed. Like imagine like you go from having almost everything. You had a good job. You was having good pay. You know you had a yard that was big and you know, everything just get taken away. Like you lose your family, your finances, your like I would even say friends, people they had around. You. Like you know because as I started to change and my environment started to change, I just found that I couldn't like keep people around me because I was in a negative space and I didn't want to put that on people anymore. Do you get what I mean? So um, yeah, literally it ended up one point that it everything got so bad like you know the trauma was bad everything was bad the depression was bad I couldn't even leave my bed guys to save me like I was so depressed I was so down because I was just thinking like when is it actually gonna end like when is all of this trauma gonna end I'll go to sleep I'll have nightmares about things really even certain situations or like just you know any, the enemy trying to attack me like Satan really tried to say listen I'm gonna show you who you're trying to fight against like he really tried it last year and I ended up in hospital and I even and even when the doctor was just like analyzing my body like I'm gonna put a picture up somewhere in it and just analyze me. He just and she just looked at me and she was like, "You really going for it, aren't you?" Like, and I'm just like, I need. I hadn't even said anything at that point, and I'm just thinking, you know, like. Is it that obvious? Like, cause 2020 was a year that everything just started showing on myself, especially during lockdown. Like you could really see the stress on me. I was losing weight. Like my heart was giving me problems, this and the next. And this is the thing, like to my friends and people that saw me on social media, like you lot saw the videos that I was creating. It's like, as soon as I turn on the camera, I'm a completely different person. Like it was therapy for me because it's like, as soon as I turn on the camera, all my problems go away. Like I don't have to think about, you know, the trauma. I don't have to think about my real life circumstances like me trying to work so hard to get of this room and to provide a life for myself so my sisters can look at me and just be inspired by everything that I've been that I've been through and look where I'm gonna be at you get what I mean so it was just one of them ones where I was just you know I was just caught up with myself to be fair and when I just got into the hospital and she was just analyzing me like first of all they couldn't pinpoint what it was and it was like it's got to be done like it's got like they started asking me questions and like I was kind of reluctant because I was like not gonna lie to you I don't know I don't know you so I'm not gonna open up my personal life to a doctor and um, I'm a person that don't like to show emotion but I actually just cried like I had to just cry because it was just like, boy, like, I don't cry, I never cry, I never show my emotions. Like, even when people ask me what's wrong, I don't tell anybody because, like, you ain't gonna fix my problems. Like, only God can fix me. I feel like, you know, I've been trying so hard to work myself out, like, and I just feel like I'm digging myself out of a, a, a bottomless pit. You understand? Like, it's just so sometimes, I don't know, sometimes it's too tough, but I just wait even. But yeah, like, they try to make me high as a kite on antidepressants, and I was just like, you know what, I'm not going to, I'm just gonna endure and ride this out and see how far, like, and guys, right now, I'm, I'm in a position where I'm alright, I'm not saying I'm the best or I'm in the best position but I can say do you know what you know, I can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel again. And it's like with me, I have my ups and downs and that's why I'm extra careful about who I have around me in terms of energy. Like you've got bad energy, bad vibes. I cannot have you around me. And that's why I cut off so many people last year. Like if I cut you off, do not take it personal, please. It was just literally, this This is personal to me and my journey because I know where I have to end up. And it's like, I can't stay stagnant in my environment anymore because it's been too much. Like 2020, I have to see results. And that's why it's important for you lots to, you know, support me. Like when I say to like, or comment, or subscribe, it really does help. It helps my videos get recommended because I am trying to you know build a life for myself and as you lots are giving to me i'm obviously going to give back do you know what i'm saying do you understand what i'm saying it's like i want to provide a life for myself and you know leave a legacy for you know my kids that i'm due to have one day and also my sisters that are there as well like i don't want them to go through certain things that i went through so it's important for me that i make a name for myself and i leave my i print on something but yeah like if i did cut you off don't take it personally don't take it personal but it's personal to me and my journey just understand that you know what i'm saying so yeah they're trying to give me anti antidepressants and how can i explain it, it was more so like was trying to tell me yeah, yo take them take them take them you know it will numb the feeling you'll numb this and I don't want anything to be numbed like I have to deal with my problems head on if I don't deal with my problems then it's always going to be there do you understand and you know as to the position that like, the relationship between me and my mum my sister as well like I know I know certain things are going to affect her when she's older and I want to make sure that I am 
you know, able to be in a position where I could provide her the right support because I know certain things that I witnessed when I was younger, it affects me to this day. I just don't want my sister to go through the same things that I went through. And you know, as two of them are there and both of them are growing and developing, I want to be able to support them the best way that I can. I'm trying to be as present as I can and have access to them as if I'm gonna want to. If I have a bad relationship with her, I can't see my sisters. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to keep it to cordial. She knows that there's that there's things that we still have to work out and nothing's been addressed and the relationship ain't really supposed to be. It ain't mother and son relationship. It ain't, nothing is sorted out. It's just an understanding where we have to be cordial for the sake of me and my sisters. Done. Jamaicans have this thing where, you know, if I kick you out, you're gonna get a council house. Babes, it doesn't work like that. And I'm gonna do a video about this as well because a lot of people message me about, oh, like, how did you get yourself, like, uh, how do you find where, find where you are, this, that, and the next. So, you know what, I'm gonna actually be more, not gonna be transparent because I don't want you like, up in my business, but I'm gonna give certain advice to where I can give advice on my channel. And I'm definitely gonna drop a video on like how to, like, you know, how to navigate your way through all of this if you are freshly kicked out of your home and, you, and you're homeless, basically. I'm gonna do a video about that. <laughs> Sorry guys, I forgot to include something. Literally, it's a whole different day. And yesterday when I filmed the video, I forgot to include this part in the video. So I just wanted to make sure that I put this in there because I just want to remain, remain as relatable and transparent as possible. But you know, when I was talking about, obviously my mental health, etc etc like depression and my heart problems and stuff around that time like things had gotten so bad i had turned to drinking and you know i'll drink just so i can go to sleep so i can just numb my pain i can just be in a whole different zone and a whole different this and like obviously that didn't help anything if anything it just made me worse because when i was sober um i had to come back to the problems but again nobody would know because you know when people speak to me when people talk to me I always try to push this different perspective that yo, like I'm okay, don't worry, I'm good. I'm gonna work myself out of this, but really and truly it was all just piling on top of me. And this is why it's important to just at least write, cause I started writing like in a little diary and whatever, whatever. So just make sure you do that. Like just, again, cause I know a lot of people are going through the same thing and just don't talk about it. So at least I can be that person that can be like, yo, like, you know, and I even put a picture up of my sisters over there, if you could see. So just little things that can inspire you to just get you out of that mental state. And that's what I did. So yeah, I just wanted to put that part in there. Don't turn to drinking because really and truly when you wake up, you have the same problems. So yeah. Yo, it didn't even stop there. We've got quite a few to get through, you know. Satan said, let's run it up. Pay yeah. for it, then run it up. Run it up. So my channel gets hacked, right? Imagine, you know, my channel's going pretty fast. Literally, I've dropped the things that we should leave in 2019 video fam. Mine went from 200 to about 9K in March. Im said, all right, missing the progress we are make. Hacked, fam. Woke up one morning, channel was hacked. And I was like, to you, you know what? Listen, I'm gonna drop a story time about this as well, so I'm not even gonna speak too much about it, but long story short, my channel got hacked and got scammed out of 700 pounds, yeah? It was a long story, all right? It just seems as if it's hurdle after hurdle after hurdle, like, the battle isn't for the swift, but for those who can endure. You see when the Bible said that? Tart short, in my tart short still. So, rah. You see the enemy of progression, like, you, you see, see a time, why is this a bad mind? Why, 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 why you do it, brother? Why you do it? Why, why you do it? <laughs> You're a waste man. You actually a waste man. Contrast for you in your head. Boop, 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 boop. That's how I feel. When I got my channel back and YouTube covered my channel, like it was one of them things where, listen, I was even trying to communicate with the scammer. That's how I lost my 700 pound because I was paying my man thinking that he was going to give my channel. Man, bro, can delete me. Bare times. So, um, yeah, I got into contact with YouTube. They recovered my channel. And it was one of them things where, you know, I got my channel back and they were like, not going to lie to you. Your channel's going to be in a stage where it's going to remain shadow banned until it goes through their search and discovery system where they can put my channel back on their search and discovery. And that's how my algorithm will start working again. Listen to me, for, for the whole of lockdown, my algorithm was not working at all and i got in, like i was actually cussing them out and i was actually i'm not gonna lie to you you have me here making content and it's not reaching nowhere it's reaching 2,000 people where my video averaged from 10k even more and my video is still like it still affects my channel this, till this day this is when i say like comment and subscribe you guys gotta like comment and subscribe because it helps my channel otherwise it's not gonna usually ain't gonna pick it up like i was gonna give up i was thinking not gonna lie to you all these battles i'm facing maybe i'm not supposed to be on social media because i had a lot of supporters and when the channel got hacked they were scamming people out of bitcoin that were going on lives on my channel and all these different kind of things scamming people out of bitcoin and all these all these different kind of things i lost a lot of supporters because yeah and and even that my supporters were coming back because they couldn't find me and not all of them followed me on instagram that's why you got lots got to follow me on instagram as well you understand you got like the news anything you want to hear about my channel my new content and all these kind of things is on my instagram so you got to follow me on my instagram simple i did some good collabs last year like big up everybody that i did a collab with last year you lots good book good vibes good energy go check out all them videos still and it helped my channel get back to the way the way how it was because i actually started doing content that I 
I wanted to do and obviously lockdown I was limited creatively I was just even lockdown just had me thinking like listen my channel got hacked I lost 700 pounds of my money trying to get my channel back this and the next and it was just like what like what am I supposed to do I can't even create the content that I want to create literally if this camera is watching this Gotta go deal with you upon judgment, dear. So now that we're talking about collapse, let's talk about the key moment to last year. Actually, no, it's not a key moment to me, it's a key moment to you lot's views because what you lot saw in it. Matter of a fact, we have to drink to this one. All right. It was a fuckery, all right? It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. The smash and pass incident now, let's talk about it because I was never going to speak about that incident at all apart from social media just trying to clean up my part, do you understand? I was never going to come and make a video about it because I feel like that would have been the wrong thing to monetize off and try to gain clout from because that's not the way how I want people to see me I don't want people to see me in a negative light and I never wanted me being posted on Shade Bar like for a negative reason to be a reason why I quote unquote blow or gain some type of exposure that's not what I wanted so that's why I just made sure I posted my two posts and then left it and I called it a day I was never going to make a reaction video about it I was never gonna make a video to speaking about it because I just didn't want that kind of stigma around me. I didn't want to come up with something negative. Like I've always said it from, if you go watch my, my um, if you go and watch my first video and even videos that I just speak about my life in general, why I'm trying to take my channel. I don't want to come up with any negativity. So I just made sure I see I'm blind. I was free blind mice and I just kept my, I just kept, I just kept moving. Do you understand? I didn't indulge with anything. I didn't engage with anything. I just left it because I just felt like, you know, from my image and the way how I want to be perceived and the way that like, I don't, I didn't want anybody to have a tainted image of me. Like if anything i want you to judge me based off my videos and the way, and the content that i put out and i produce i don't want it to be a thing where you lots have clocked me from a negative thing or a mix up that you lot saw online that's not how it is and that's when i say like i will never engage in social media beef i'll never engage in certain things so anyways just, right, let me stop rambling on and speak about the actual incident now i obviously woke up one day said i wanted to do videos right bought the apartment got the people together whatever whatever i had selected the people and two of the people which is the people that made the most noise shouldn't have been in the video however i was short on females for the video and can i just clarify like there was a lot of this talk about kids and da -da -da -da. i for one ain't a kid i have my rent for peer electric gas i let them stop on their bills for peer i let them i don't even go to uni bruv but i can understand what you lots are saying in some of childlike behavior i understand it and really and truly the only people that are underage well only people that were teenagers really really and truly in the video was the females because all the men were over 20 do you understand so it was one of them things where the people that the two people that made the most noise in the video wouldn't have usually been in the video on a normal day on a normal content day the reason why they were there was because i was short on females and i like to have an equal number uh, male to female especially the video that i was doing with boys versus girls so it had to be a thing where there had to be a good amount of females and good amount of males and one of the females were actually the one that made the most noise had been begging me to um be my videos for a long time but i've been saying no because i've been like i didn't really think her personality would have suited my videos and rate tay and can i just say something if you lots watch my content you lots can see that my videos are well orchestrated i'm very like controlling when it comes to my content and the quality of my content i like my volume i like my videos to turn out a certain way so um but what happened in the smash and pass video that would have never happened if it was my video do you understand what i'm saying because everything was well coordinated i tell people where to sit down what to wear what theme like if i don't like something we're redoing it again do you understand that's how i am like i've, like, I've said it publicly like I, I would have never put out a video like that do you understand what i'm saying but lani wasn't to know and even on that day um nobody knew that lani was coming i didn't tell anybody deliberately let me tell you why i didn't want anything to be premeditated and if they hear oh two people with platforms are going to be there which is myself and lani it could be a thing where so like i just don't know do you understand because especially when two of the females were there i've never really filmed with them before i just didn't want anybody to get a bit of antsy or feel like they're gonna hype up in the video and make it to to hear that lani good was coming so i didn't tell nobody and even on the day like when people were like oh who else are we waiting on i just said lani from back chat and they were like oh raw lani's coming and this is, and this is the thing i didn't want anything to be premeditated and i told them to behave themselves anyway so um yeah lani wasn't to know what they would have behaved like and to be fair i didn't know what the two girls would have behaved like reason being they would have never originally been in the video anyways because if you watch my videos you can even watch the videos that they were in in my videos like everybody was behaved way differently to the way how they behaved in the smash and pass video it wasn't planned for lani to um, film a video at all i turned around to lani and i was like to lani do you want to film like a video or something because obviously we have a little bit of time you can film a video if you want to film a video she was like yeah but like can i use some of your people and i was already a bit antsy about that because i saw the way how one of the girls were moving in one of the videos that i was filming so i was like okay you can take eight of the people and i will pick the people that you can use and um obviously when lani came she was like oh 
oh rah like look at your equipment this and the next like you're like you're really like you know a perfectionist when it comes to your videos da, da, da. she rates that but she was like not gonna lie to you I'm not that strict so if all of them want to jump in the video they can and I initially I said no in it like I was like nah da, 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 da. and I picked specific people to go up in the kitchen and film the video and I told the rest of them to go and sit down but she was like no 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 everybody can jump in everybody but at, at the end of the day she wasn't to know because she just thought I was being like controlling and a perfectionist but there was a reason why I said pick A B C and D but obviously she didn't know in it so what else I'm in the video now and everybody is grinding with themselves and everyone rate it number one that video was crowded already like bare body heat and everything you understand what I'm saying like the video was already crowded you know what I'm saying so I have my partner next to me and me and my partner are the, but, uh, uh, but not well, not partners in partner but me and the you know neighbor beside me have platforms so I was like listen to me behave yourself yeah Oh yeah, behave yourself. All right, shut them out in this one still. Yeah, me make sure, me, yeah, me say shut them out in this one still. Before we have to shut them out, cause if anything, we have to behave. All right, man, what we say? And we say, mm hmm And you think you lots can even like deep throughout the video. We was giving each other nudges and da -da -da -da, just oh yeah, shut up. All right, oh yeah, shut up. Yeah, you better shut up. Don't don't talk about that one. Yeah, we made sure that we kept ourselves. At the end of the day, we wanted to make sure that we spoke, as in market ourselves. But I was just making sure that I was. Because at the end of the day, the, bing, 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 the smoke, smoke, smoke. I was not there for it. Do you understand? So um, as the video progressed, and I'm hearing botch body, BBL, the girl ugly. This I'm I'm looking like. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Even me and the other neighbour beside me turned around and said, "Yo, you lots are moving a bit nuts." Still, the response for the females were. I don't care. They can jack me if you want to. I was like, "Oh, yeah, shut up." We said what we had to say. Everything goes downhill from there, do you know what I'm saying? So, like, we warned, I said, they didn't listen. It wasn't my video at the end of the day. Let me address what I said about Miss R, mm -mm, right? In the video, I passed her, and I wanted to make sure I said the reason why I passed her, because number one, I have a platform, do you understand what I'm saying? So people can just easily twist what I said, especially you seeing what them lots were saying over there. I didn't want any kind of wahala that they were gonna get, do you get? So I just wanted to make sure that I said my reason for that. And my reason for passing her was that she was troublesome. <laughs> Our fabulous is good looking. Our fabulous is good looking. But she's very, hold on, she's very troublesome. That is the problem. That's the only thing I said in the video, do you understand? And I made sure I went there and I said, listen, the girl is pretty rated but she's always in problem. And not gonna lie, what I said was not unorthodox. It's not like it was foreign to anybody. Everybody knows the girl is always in problems. She's the someone that said, come butt me outside Sox's event. Where the you know fuck what I'm saying? So that? it's not like everybody else was, oh, I can't believe you say that she was troublesome. Like it's a known fact. People know that, you know, she's in problem from time to time. So that's just my reason for passing her. Girl was not a dig at you or anything like that. It was not me trying to, you know, slander you or anything like that. It was just literally just stating my reason. So it wasn't taken otherwise because social media likes to run with a different narrative oh my god she passed her that means oh uh, that she's ugly and this that and the next I only said that because you use the same when i said oh come but me i'm sorry this is a bit that's the only reason why like you, you're, you're, you're not ugly you know you're not ugly yeah this, you're pretty pan any side yeah don't worry about it babes don't worry about it but um yeah i just saw a little something like nobody dragged me or anything about it but i just saw one two comments and i just wanted to make sure that i cleared that up because you know do want anybody to think I'm mixed up, do you understand? I just wanted to make sure that I clean up that little part. Obviously, members of her party did try to say, ah, oh, but you asked to be in a video with her. This is before all of that was going, do you understand? This is before, you don't understand what I'm saying? And the whole part of YouTube is to network and produce content with other people. So simply, you know, and even the, and the time that I did ask her to film a video was when one of her, you know, friends or ex-friends or whatever and um, wanted to do a video with me and because he it was already planned for him like he well it was talks i was never gonna do the video but um it was in talks and she posted it on a story and she was like oh me and the person who's going to do a video whatever youtube wants to join in and i swiped up and i said hey i don't mind the reason why that video didn't even go forward is because she had replied and said to me that I've done a video already so it doesn't even make sense so I was like cool say no more that's why that video didn't go ahead and that's the only time that I've ever popped up and asked her to do a video with me do you understand cool say no more so, no but yeah I just wanted to clean up that situation nobody dragged me about it. it wasn't a big problem but I just did see one or two comments and I just wanted to clean that part up because I mean, it wasn't even a big deal to begin with but I just wanted to make sure that I addressed that issue just in case she felt some type of way or whatever whatever because I woke up and I found myself blocked and I wasn't even following you to begin with so I just wanted to put that out there it was not maliciously intent nobody you know, nobody was like, oh my gosh, you're violating because, you know, whatever. But I just wanted to clean that up. If it offended you, I apologize, but that was not the, the intent. All right, cool. I just wanted to address, um, obviously, you know, people asking like, why are you f 
with this this person and that person and i'm just saying that everybody's on their journey do you understand and i'm not gonna stop with somebody because they're, li they're, they're living out their trauma on social media like do you understand what i'm saying everyone's on their own journey everyone's navigating their own way through life and if anybody can be sympathetic and understanding to towards somebody else's trauma is me so i'll be a big hypocrite if i was to stop like fucking with some somebody because they're going through something like i'm not gonna lie to you like you know being on social media and actually being friends with somebody in real life you can see the difference and you can actually like see where they're going through and let me tell you something like trauma is not an easy thing like everybody deals with it differently like like everyone deals with things a different way i don't address my problem somebody else may choose to express it like it, in my opinion i'd rather express than keep it in because i know how much that that can do to me inside so um yeah like i'm not going to judge anybody because of what they're doing i'm not going to stop being friends with anybody because it's trauma at the end of the day like everybody deals with it differently at the end of the day everybody is going through something and i'd rather wouldn't you rather somebody talk about it rather than then keep it inside and you don't just wake up one day and find out on shade bar oh my gosh this person died due to and then you lost were like why is she like where was her friends why, why did she say anything like her friends are here we speak to her do you understand what i'm saying to you but everybody has their way of dealing with certain situations the only thing that i can do is i give my advice and be supportive because that's the kind of person i am like i can give advice i'm easy it's easy for me to give advice to other people because i've gone through certain things but um me as taking my own advice is hard for me because i'm going through my own challenges as and i can i can be sympathetic like those that have gone through trauma and are, and are navigating getting through trauma can sympathize with certain things i'm not gonna lie to you if anybody doesn't fuck with me because i am a so like i'm friends with somebody or associate with somebody then that's fine because you're just you're, you're supposed to come and judge me for who i am do you understand what i'm saying and those that have met the person in real life know that she is not a bad person or a harmful person or whatever, whatever she's a nice bubbly person so at the end of the day you know social media will always run with a narrative and you're, you lots are always forgetting that the blog pages run with whatever they want you to like they post what they want you to see they never post a big story and they don't even have time to post a full story to understand what i'm saying you lots only see highlighted parts of certain you know events and incidents that happen you just don't see the full story so um yeah what i just say be calm with your words in it because you don't know how your words can affect somebody even like me and certain like certain things like certain things i put out there you lots might say certain things you just be calm with your words in it because at the end of the day we are putting ourselves out there for your entertainment do you understand what i'm saying and all of us producing for content i'm showing you guys my life i'm bringing you entertainment i'm trying i'm trying to ins ins inspire and be an inspiration to some in it so like if we're not here then you're gonna watch in it so just be kind to certain people and just give constructive just be respectful that's all that's all it is and guys to finish off the video i did want to talk about a few celebrations i didn't want the whole video to be about my trauma and negativity and all of the passive -pass and mix or mix up that happened last year I do want to talk about a few positives like as I said time and time again those of you that have been on my journey and that have been messing with me and you know have been there from the start to finish you lots know that you know the past couple of years have been very challenging for me I've been going through a lot and one of them things were like one of the things that it was affecting was my education like I had dropped out of college multiple times due to you know depression and anxiety that I was going through and I wasn't able to achieve the grades that I wanted to and I just wasn't able to do certain things like I just couldn't even be able to get out of my bed I couldn't be able to see the next day I just couldn't do certain things because it's not even like I was I am a very smart and intelligent person if i say so myself like you know i do try my best in everything and all in everything that i do but i just couldn't give my all to my education and, a lot, and my circumstances and my environment and everything was just affecting my capabilities and many and many a times i just had to drop out and i couldn't submit my work i couldn't do anything and with that i had left college like with no grades and i was like you know what 2020 2020 at least at least at least i have to get my grades and i sat down there and i did my work to the best of my capabilities and i'm pleased to show you guys i finally have my grades and this ain't no regular regular digga digga grades you know i did my best and i actually came out with the best grades possible and i'm just so proud of myself because you know even when i felt like i couldn't do it i pushed myself to the max and i just want i just want to share this part not to be boastful but to inspire some people like if you've dropped out of education you can do it like nothing's impossible especially when you have god all you gotta do is just put it pray and put it forward forward towards god and i just finally decided to go back finish my grades get my qualifications at least if i don't go to university at least i know the option is always there do you understand what i'm saying and i'm pleased to tell you lots i had passed my course with three distinctions like distinction distinct i'm a distinction student i've always been a distinction student before like even when i enter college i've been predicted a distinction do you understand what i'm saying and if for those of you that don't know what three distinctions are is like a free a levels grade a so i can get into any university that i want to and if anything i'm just very proud like of myself and all that i've achieved like it's it it, it was a big it was a big um 
it was a big challenge for me, but I'm happy I'm happy that I did it. And even guys, like getting these grades were even it wasn't even easy on its own. Like they had messed up my grades originally. They give me they gave me the wrong qualifications and I thought I had failed like duh, 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 duh. But after some investigating they realised I had issued out the wrong grades to me, they corrected them and I've got a distinction, distinction, distinction. For those of you that don't know, that's three A levels at grade A and I'm just proud of myself. Like I just want to I just want everyone out there to know that whatever you do, just don't give up on your education. Just at least do your GCSEs, your A levels and whatever but after that, if you choose to go to university, if you don't, if you choose to be an entrepreneur, then just, you know, just take that step to at least finish your qualif qualifications because at the end of the day, at least you know you have some form of an asset to yourself, do you understand what I'm saying? And I'm just proud of myself because I know how much I've been through, what I've been through in life. And, um, you know, everything happens for a reason and I can't lie, like, God's timing, not my own. And I just have to understand that everything comes in due time, like, my success will come in due time. Hopefully this year, inshallah, like, I'm just praying that, you know, everything comes to place and sets in this year and I just pray that you guys will continue to support me that 2021 will be a year of reveal and prosperity for all of us it will be a year of success i pray that it will be a year that you know whosoever's been struggling in mental health that you finally have that breakthrough god that every shackles will be broken in the mighty name of jesus that you lots will just you know you lots will find healing within yourself and just not just like you know let me tell you something the power of life and death is within the tongue and i'm just going to preach really quickly whatever you put out there whatever you speak out there will come to life if you get up and you manifest certain things and you speak it even, even parents, like when you're growing your child, just speak into them that, yo, you're gonna be successful, you are beautiful, you are this, you are that. Be careful of your words, be careful of what you say to certain people. People, make sure you check up on people because you don't know what people are going through at the end of the day. Like, even that, I call certain people because I just felt like, you know, be that person that motivates people. Don't bring anybody down, don't bring mix up to nobody. I'm looking forward to see the businesses, I'm looking forward to see the success, I'm, I'm looking forward to see the breakthrough for other content, content creators as well because it's a, it's a hard, it's a hard, I'm out there, you know, it's a hard world out there, and I just pray that each and every one of my, my like supporters, if you lots are going through something, don't be hesitant to DM me. Like I'm always here to give advice. Like last year I was in the best position to do that, but this year I'm very willing to give advice to whoever needs it. Just message me, DM me at J Edwards. Everything's gonna pop up on the screen here, and I just hope you lots enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, I hope you guys like or comment if you're new to the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe. Again, my name is Jay Edwards. See you guys in the next video, and stick around for more content that I've coming. And I'm out still. This year's gonna be Shelly still, still. Wait, hold on. Let's take a cheers to 2021. Bing. Satan and Boris, try me. Oh, no, no, let me tell you something. More life, more success, enough blessings in that 2020. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>